So this is a pile of uh, uh, bones from uh, albatross chicks that had died here at Midway. There's quite a bit of bones as this is a place where they piled up uh, a lot of the carcasses uh, that from chicks that died in town. So they tried to move them uh, away from town so there wouldn't be a lot of flies in town. Uh, there's so many chicks here, over 400,000 chicks each year. So what looks like a very large pile, when you think about it relative to the numbers, is not uh, super large, but it is uh, quite a concentration of albatross chicks. And one of the things we see when we look in this pile, so a year or two year later, it has decayed and you see a lot of bones, but you also see a lot of plastic. I've gone through and picked through a lot of this pile uh, looking for plastic items that we may recognize, and I've just picked out a small sample, but uh, here are some of the items that I found inside the birds here. So we have a collection of different types of lighters. Uh, we've got some fishing floats. Uh, not quite sure what kind of float that is. Uh, another type of fishing float or spacer for nets. You see lots of bottle caps, all sorts of bottle caps and things that you may recognize. Um, here's a, a cap to a pen, different little items that we're not sure of. This looks like some sort of soy sauce container. Um, there's some very large items here next to the lighter and they also have some very sharp edges so that's rubbing in the gut of the albatross, possibly a reason it didn't make it. Um, here we have another soy sauce container, a plastic toy jack, some kind of Winnie the Poohish type uh, ring, a whole toothbrush that was found inside one of the albatross. Here's a, a disposable razor handle. So lots of items that we might recognize. Uh, the cap to a magic marker or pen, another one. So uh, unfortunately all this plastic is out there in the ocean and the albatross are picking it up and feeding it to their young. Uh, because the young can't regurgitate, here's a little toy tank appropriate for Midway maybe, although it should be a toy plane. But since the uh, young albatross can't regurgitate, um, all this plastic accumulates in their gut. So a lot of the birds that don't make it seem to have a lot of plastic in their gut. And it probably plays a factor in their um, eventual demise. So uh, having that plastic maybe means they get dehydrated, so potentially they don't die directly from the plastic, but die from dehydration. Some of the plastic may carry pollutants with it that it picks up in the water, and that may pay a factor as well. So uh, we need to think more about where all this plastic goes when we throw it out. And unfortunately here in the North Pacific, a lot of it ends up inside albatross and their chicks and probably has some pretty dire consequences for uh, the young albatross, especially um, the ones that obviously perish from having all this plastic and um, a